Hello everyone and welcome back to Cooking with Suzanne. So today we're going to roast mushrooms. I got in some beautiful hen of the wood mushrooms here and I just want to show you, look how gorgeous these mushrooms are. I just want to show you how easy it is to roast mushrooms and it's really nice to make ahead of time. They can last a good three, three to four days in your refrigerator and they're so delicious. So you can use any type of mushroom you happen to like. I love hen of the wood mushrooms. So those are the ones I'm going to use. You can use shiitakes, you can use criminis, hedgehog, black trumpets. There's so many good mushrooms out there. Okay, so all you need to do is just take a half sheet pan here and I'm just going to separate the mushrooms just like so. We are going to add a little bit of liquid here. Uh, you can use mushroom stock, you can use water, you can use chicken stock. The only thing I suggest is if you're going to use a stock, I would either use low sodium or unsalted. So you're looking for, in this uh, sheet pan, 11 by 17, you should be able to fit about eight cups of mushrooms. So all I'm doing here is just separating them. And I want to add some flavor here. So we're going to add some shallots. If you don't have shallots, you can use sweet onion and a little bit of garlic and some fresh herbs. Of course, I love thyme and I love rosemary. And I have both in the garden right now. They're beautiful. So I'm going to use both. And what's really nice about roasting these mushrooms is that when they're all done, there will be some liquid in your pan. You can add this to soup. You can add it to a stew. You can make a wonderful mushroom gravy. Um, you can make beautiful mushroom risotto with these mushrooms. And if you really want them to have a nice caramelization, you still can. Uh, you can put them into a saute pan with the liquid on high heat and then the liquid would start to re reduce and the mushrooms would start to caramelize, which is very nice. Also, because I get a large amount like this at one time and I can't use it all at once, I will just take pint containers and I will put these mushrooms in a pint container and put them in the freezer. And when I'm ready to use it, just take a container out, let it defrost in your refrigerator overnight, and you're good to go. There will be liquid in your container, but that's all flavor. It's going to have a wonderful, delicious mushroom flavor. At the restaurant, we used to do this every week and make a good amount of this and use it in many of our recipes. So let's just break that off. I love the flavor of these mushrooms. They're one of my favorites, but there are so many good ones out there. Okay. So what you want to do is just kind of flatten it. You want a pretty much one layer. I'd say there's about eight cups here. Let me just show you. Here are our mushrooms, and now we can add all of the flavoring to it. I even have a little bit in the bowl. We might as well put that in. So as I said, I'll just show you. I have some chopped shallot, or you can use sweet onion, nice minced garlic, and some fresh herbs, salt and pepper, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. So the first thing we will do is season it. So here I have some kosher salt. You just want to season high and just kind of make sure that you're getting a good covering over the top of your mushrooms. When they do come out of the oven, you definitely want to taste them to see if you need any more seasoning at that point. Okay, and a little bit of black pepper for a little spice here.
And I like to put some extra virgin olive oil. So you just want to drizzle extra virgin olive oil over the top. I would say about three tablespoons. Two to three tablespoons is plenty. Okay. Now we can put our shallots and just sprinkle it right over the top. And then our garlic will go over that. And here is our garlic. Sprinkle that over. So that was two shallots and two cloves of garlic minced. Okay. And I just lie the herbs right on top. I have two sprigs of rosemary. Rosemary is stronger than thyme, so I use a little less rosemary, a little more thyme. Anywhere from, you know, about four to six sprigs of herbs, I think is nice and flavors the mushrooms beautifully. So I have my oven set at 325 degrees and we're going to set a timer for about 45 minutes and we'll check it and it can take anywhere from 40 to 60 minutes up to an hour. And there should still be a little bit of liquid in your, uh, in your roasting pan. And you will want to add that liquid to your mushrooms in your containers. Okay, so use whatever liquid you choose and just about a cup. And you just want to drizzle it over the top. And now we will cover it and roast the mushrooms. So I like to take a sheet of parchment paper first over the top, and then cover it with foil. So I have some in the oven and it's almost 45 minutes. So let me go and pull them out. Okay, so this is about 43 minutes to this point. So let's see how they look. And if it seems, ooh, Quite a bit of steam coming out of here, which is good. Don't burn yourself. Oh goodness, does that smell good? Okay, let's see how they're doing. Oh, it looks good. I think it can go longer. I'm going to come over and show you. There's quite a bit of, now the water has turned to mushroom broth, which looks fantastic. Okay, so let's come over. I'm just going to show you. How it's looking so far okay you can see the mushrooms I have the fresh herbs and all that beautiful liquid which is kind of hard to show you because it's pooling down in the corner of the pan but it looks wonderful so the best way is to actually taste the mushroom and see if it needs to go a little bit longer they look like they could probably go a little longer Mm. They are really good. They're going to need a little more seasoning, but we'll wait till they're done. So I'm going to put these in probably for the full hour. So I'll set my timer for another 15 minutes and then they will be done. So that's our class for today. Wonderful roasted mushrooms that you can do a number of different dishes with. So thanks very much. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye now.